Okay, let's do it again. Let's find out about our <laughs> friends at News 4 who've been sharing their favorite holiday recipes with us. And we do a little cooking with meteorologist Dan Thomas and his family. It's all about soup in their house. Take a look. Welcome to our home. I'm Dan Thomas. This is my wife, Deanna, who used to work for News 4. And these are our children who aren't babies anymore, obviously. We've got Sadie here and Hudson, and they're just uh, growing like weeds all the time. Today, we're going to cook something that I ate for the first time two weeks ago. Deanna cooked it. I said, this is unbelievable. We used to, we have to use this for the cooking segment, and it's called chicken tortilla soup. And the best part about it is, it is cooked in a slow cooker. So you can start this first thing in the morning when your family's on, your, on their way to your house and then it'll be done by lunch or dinner time so we're going to tell you all about the process the first thing is you put the um, chicken broth in here Sadie do you want to pour that into the crock pot all and of it all of it and Hudson's going to pour in these tomatoes you can use regular tomatoes or tomatoes with rotel um, and diced chilies in them Ooh, thank you. all right and then the recipe we're going to share with you with you guys doesn't use the enchilada the red enchilada sauce and this is the secret Thomas part of this recipe is that we really like to use the enchilada sauce because it really makes it fabulous and then I'm gonna ask Dan to put in the chicken and we're gonna save the beans and the corn for a little while later that's your chicken daddy and right then here Hudson I'm gonna ask you to sprinkle a little paprika for the seasoning and Sadie can I if you can right do the now? ground now can I yes you can do it now very good just a little bit spices are to your taste okay that's good that's good that's why i didn't give him the chili powder dad would you like to do the chili we're, powder? we're gonna eat this tomorrow can't wait to see what it tastes like all right that's good thank how, how, you how much is, how much of this very little of the chili powder unless you like it hot and then you can put a lot so you can also use um garlic and onion in this recipe it is optional i we're hate not, garlic not not big <laughs> garlic fans in this house as you can see so we're gonna leave the garlic out um, and then the corn and the beans. So you let this cook for a while. We put the lid on and we let this cook for about six hours on low. Um, and the recipe calls for using um, uncooked chicken, but my time saving tip is to go ahead and get a rotisserie chicken that's already cooked and then you save even more time. So this chicken's already cooked. So basically just kind of creating the recipe. And then once you're about 30 minutes out from eating, you put the corn and the beans in. And then the best part of this recipe are the toppings at the end. You slice a lime, put some lime juice in there, avocado, fresh onions, maybe some cheese if you're not counting all the calories, and it is fabulous. Obviously, you don't need me to say this, she is the cook in the household and I am the cleaner. She knows what she's doing. Who knows how this would turn He's out. He's the eater, though. So he loves I it. am the eater, yes. <laughs> so thank you for joining us on behalf of our family. To yours, we wish you a safe and happy and meaningful holiday season. And since it's Southwest, Feliz, Feliz Navidad. Navidad.